Uh, hang on, let's discuss Hindustan Copper. Well, the stock has hit its highest levels in 12 years today, and it's been momentum driven. As valuations, well, they appear fairly heady. Let's do a quick analysis on what uh, has got the street excited. Hindustan Copper, first up, is the only pure listed play on the copper price in India. Hindalco and Vedanta, well, they're players on the treatment charge and refining charge, which is known as TCRC. So they are converters if you're looking at copper as a play out there. Hindustan Copper is the only pure play on copper prices. And the reason the street is optimistic on copper prices is due to supply concerns coming in from Peru, Chile, as well as Panama. Copper prices could also trend higher because of the weakness in the dollar. This is amid the expectations of rate cuts. And also there is some optimism that China could push through another stimulus package. Now, fundamentally, though, things look stretched on a trailing basis. In the last few years, the best EPS that they've delivered is 3 to 4 rupees. That means that the stock is trading in more than 85 times. The biggest holder in the company, though, is the government of India. LIC, they're the second last, uh, largest sold in the company. And you have Quant and SBI. Both of them are the two notable mutual funds that hold stake in the company. Now, part of the street is a little bit optimistic. Will the government of India go ahead and divest that stake? Well, time will tell. But that appears to be some optimism that's playing out. Now, besides supply concerns, demand as well could look up. As the government of India's infra push, well, it bodes well for copper demand. Remember, 40% of the copper that's consumed in India is, uh, on the, is, is uh, you know, attributed to infrastructure as well as the construction sector. So that could be one factor. But the bigger push is that, uh, you know, the push towards electric vehicles. That could benefit copper demand in particular. This is because reports suggest that an electric vehicle, well, it, re it requires nearly 80 kgs of, sh of copper. That is nearly four times a normal vehicle. That's a normal conventional vehicle. So put all this together. Valuation-wise, the stock appears very, very expensive. But the street appears to be looking ahead on copper prices, copper demand, and will the government of India do something with that 65% stake that they have in the company? Explains why the stock today has moved to the highest we've seen in the last 12 years. Devin, what's your view on Hindustan Copper? Who would have well, thanks so much for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. Make sure you follow us and stay updated on all our social media platforms.